got S tier top pick to most men, you know, type stuff. A stream hope top gods that are, aren't well getting tonight. banned. B gods are going to be your standard. Like, you know, they fulfill a team. You don't need to prioritize them. They usually get through. They're good. C hyper situational counter picks. D probably don't play unless it's your main F dog. Kind of the, the way I go about the tiers of the tier list. Ama is OP. Proof. Not even an opinion. They outed that Ama has a above a 60% win rate when going int-based bruiser. So like basically full int with health because there's two health items and there's one defensive item that gives you a ton of int. So you can go all those items and just one shot basically. Highest win rate out of any god I think ever in any smite which is kind of nuts. So she is the best god in the game. If you're in a ranked, you ban it uh, or you pick it. And she can pretty much be played in any role because she's so good right now. Primarily support solo jungle, but can be played mid ADC, which is just crazy. Honor for me right now is a very middle of the pack ADC. They've got to get rid of Vitalis and crit. Uh, crit, not fully. They have the nerf crit, get rid of Vitalis, and then Honor will be uh, like the staple hunter he always was. Dog shit god should not be a thing in Smite 2. Eh, I mean gods get released and they're bad or gods don't have items and they're bad so it happens that's that's what balancing and stuff is for anubis moves up i'm pretty sure anubis was i had anubis way down there anubis is playable i think it's more of a filler god than anything i wouldn't put anubis in any comp i think it's kind of comp based not really fully situational but like almost situational like can i play it type of situation they buffed anubis as passive they made Anubis faster as you level the one up. He moves faster in it. And then they buff Typhons. So you see just, it's just a better gameplay. The big thing with Anubis is, are you playing against people that are going to build an anti healer or not? If they are, a little bit weaker. If they aren't, you're strong enough to be played. Ares. I'd actually put Ares in kind of that, that mid tier still. Um, people are catching on that you have to go the beads item as a support and Ares just lose a little bit of value i still think he's very good especially when paired with anyone else who burns beads like fenrir athena i think athena is still weak um play it if there's nothing else to play as a support i really like it, it athena's two is on way too long of a cooldown they buffed her alt so she gives the person she's ulting more movement speeds like that's good but she isn't a simple alt bot there's, it's too easy to rotate and group up and smite both smite one and two so you're just not seeing her perform yet Bacchus, I'd say, is still a top tier support. Still one of the better gods in the game. He did get nerfed again, but it was mainly hitting his damage, the scaling off of having prots. So he's more balanced now. I still think he's very, very good. Baron, just slightly below Ama. Baron, he's OP. You go a full cooldown pen build where you literally just stat cooldown because your two's healing scales off of your cooldown stat. So the more cooldown you have, the bigger the healing is. His cooldown timers, you can get his ult down to below 20 seconds. You can get his one and his two down to, I think it's like three and four second cooldowns. So essentially you're just spamming your abilities nonstop, rapid fire, and you're, you're too healing for that much. If they don't have anti-heal, they don't have full anti-heal. One item is not enough. They don't have full anti-heal, you will full heal your team. You will keep your team alive through an entire team fight very easily. He is absolutely insane. I'm assuming the two scaling is probably not where they actually wanted it and they'll they'll nerf it but it'll be like more balancing it just so it's not op i don't know what they're gonna do with the cooling cooldown change they added cooldown to every item and it is just going nuts on almost every god so that could also be something that gets nerfed pretty soon Bologna got buffed through items and stuff a little bit but i still think Bologna is more situational than anything i think i'd rather have an ability-based warrior like odin all day than having it a Bologna. So Bologna's gonna fall in that that C tier with Anubis. CERN. I don't know about CERN, bro. I think CERN's down here in D tier. You pretty much play CERN as a mage, and then you lack crit hunters and fatalis gods, and there's just no point. And if you're playing CERN in the mid lane as a mage, he doesn't match up well enough to compete with Hakate, Baron, Nuwa, Neath. He's he's pretty much like bottom of the fucking barrel for mids. So I'm gonna put him in D for now. Chalk, I think, is middle of the pack warrior for solo lane. Doesn't get played anywhere else. Fenrir, I think, is very, very good as a support. V insanely good as a jungler. Probably better as a jungler than a support, but, but equally as good. And then if you can get away with it in solo because your matchups, I think it's okay. But mainly jungle support. He's a beads burner, and he does a lot of damage. Somebody said he felt worse after this patch, but I strongly disagree. Still crazy. Uh, CERN is mage. Yes, CERN is built 
as a mage and plays around alt and two hitting very 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 hard pretty much one shotting but it's very easy to, as a player to avoid cern's alt combo like it's super easy to just leap it or move out of it or blink out of it whatever egg is it hades trash hades is still to me the worst god in the game i think he sucks can't be played as a mage because he dies too fast doesn't clear in lane or control lane so loses lane and falls behind he's trash akate uh akate is the best just pure mid lane mage in the game because of her cooldown that's without cooldown items with standard build she's the best i haven't even seen what she can do with cooldown items yet like her spam's got to be crazy she's very good after she gets like level five level six her early game clear isn't the best but it's not terrible they've actually made it better because they added a ton of cooldown to the time not timeline uh whatever the starter the mage starter with cooldown on it uh has 20 cooldown off the rip which is crazy Kate is gonna be a tier for me jingwei i think falls down a little bit because they added the the teleporter thing to lane so you get back to lane faster was which is a slight like a very slight nerf to jingwei um crit is still good so jingwei is still good she's fine i'm just moving her down because she does lose that value out of her passive i'm doing a ranked ranked tier list uh kakalkin i feel like he just doesn't do damage yet i don't think he's bad i think he's actually re way more annoying than some of these other mages but in a cooldown based meta kakalkin's not gonna thrive he thrives in a i'm gonna one shot you meta and he doesn't one shot anybody yet i feel like they need to buff his damage or the items that he builds a little bit more because poly's better than it is in smite one but you aren't running around with as much power so is it better is it i don't know like Kalkin for me is just under like slightly underperforming almost there loki i think is very good as a jungler because he's annoying and he has a cc alt and he hits really hard same stuff different day mordred uh, i'm i'm in between mordred i really feel like he's almost op but not um i won't put him in a because i feel like his alt is too easy to counter your teammates kind of you have to rely on your teammates as a mordred to alt if you're initiated with your alt you're never gonna land it and if your team isn't creating pressure, you're not going to be able to land your ult because they're just going to move away from you. Um, also, for building, I feel like he's way more of a solo laner than anywhere else because you have to go hybrid in the jungle as well, and you still die kind of quickly. So it's either like hybrid jungle solo is where I really see him being played. Once the ult is smoother and doesn't have all the hitches, and I don't mean bugs. I just mean there's times where the ult just like visually is off and stuff. Once they have all that down and you can play really fluid on him, I think we'll see him performing consistently at like an a level nerf crit i mean we tell them all the time uh neath one of the top mids global alt that hits very hard and plays very well as a mage her combo now because she can put her weaves down without threeing she can you know two and get a weave down and blow it up i've seen a neath walk up in two three and half l somebody late game and then have the one or one first root them two three when they're dead saying sucks uh yeah nua I don't think Nua's OP, but I think she's very annoying, and I still think her 2-3 combo is crazy. Ton of CC in the god. She gives movement speed to her teammates and herself. She's not safe, but her ultimate is on a very, very short cooldown with current smite too. So that's going to put her in A for me. I can see you arguing down into B, but I like having a Nua on the team. I think having a Nua on the team is very valuable. I also believe for late game, mages are insane while crit is still op i think a very good mage player is way better than a very good crit hunter player mages slam they they kill tank they kill everybody late game when building correctly odin odin might be s tier my problem is you're banning baron ama if you're really trying to win a game and i don't think you're banning odin and we only have one ban in the game right so I don't think it's fair to put Baron or Odin here, but it kind of is because then you're prio picking him if these are your other bands. Odin is heavy prioritized in comp play. He's one of the best solo laners. His ult is amazing. It forces people to go shell and try to shell his ult all the time when it's got a shorter cooldown. His survivability is unreal because he's a heavy tank with short cooldowns. And his damage output as a tank is still very, very high. He more than likely will be like the baseline for good warrior soul laners, and they're going to try to bring most warriors up to where he's at. That's what I'm guessing. A Neath build, you go for carry. You play Mage Neath every time. Just run the mid lane build on Neath. Like, you don't run Neath. It's just like, AA Neath isn't a thing. It, it's dog shit. Soul. I'll probably move Soul down. I still think Soul is very good, but it's because of crit. Once you take crit away, I don't think she's a high, high tier god. And even with crit, she has some weird play where like Aegis doesn't work properly with her three, which makes her really killable. She's 
gonna get blown up by mages because she's gonna be close to range she's gonna put her in b for now uh where she's picked not prioritized no hunters are a yeah i don't think i put any hunters in a in current state i i think hunters need to get they need more pure hunters and they need to get aa build balanced so they can kill tanks and kill the, the front line that's diving them and then they become way more valuable suzano i think suzano is still the best jungler in the game after ama but that's because ama is super overtuned and suzano has been nerfed twice or once once or twice they're gonna have to nerf him one more time he's the best jungler in the game by far uh, he does way too much damage early game and Susano's never meant to be an early game god he has all aoe damage and all of his abilities that are aoe do more damage than single target uh loki fender which is just crazy to me thanatos c tier once his one is buffed i think he's crazy there's so much potential for cooldown builds and because of how fast you are with speed plus uh tech okage he just can run a map and snowball crazy hard but his one doesn't hit hard enough it falls off insanely hard like a one hitting a squishy for like 400 is crazy to me it, it's doing nothing the morgan i think she's gonna be nuts they buffed her again her late game is better cooldown makes it so her ult is always up she has good lane pressure good lane control and she has heavy cc they also made her stealth better in smite 2 than it ever was in smite 1 it is infinitely better than it ever was in smite 1 it's so valuable i i think most of your mages you're gonna see just perform consistently on good mage players like all of them are playable at a high level and i don't think you are if you go morgan instead of akate i don't think you're trolling if you go akate over new i don't think you're trolling but i think all of them are equally valuable in a team fight for the mid to late game yamoja i'm not really sure where i put her right now i feel like she's cracked but i also kind of feel like Bacchus is better so i'm not sure i want to put her in a yet i, I feel like she's so good though i think she has so much potential Morgan also have weird bugs. Every time I've played her, she's been really smooth. Ymir, he's a CC god in a game where you don't have beads up all the time. So he's valuable. And that's all it comes down to. Zeus, they're trying to buff him. He's still weak. He, they're trying to make him good as a mage, and he's just still weak. He has no way to clear the lane. Mage or not, he has no way to clear, which makes him a rough mid laner. And if you get away with getting into the late game you're still a ccmu no mobility mage that is trying to deal with amas bacchus odin suzano like all these really heavy cc stop you from casting stop you from moving gods makes it really hard to play mage build on yamoja is fun bro i believe it i believe it the aa build i ran aa jungle yamoja and it cooks and i actually someone beat me with the build today so this is where i would put my tier list right now um i wouldn't play hades I really wouldn't play these two unless there's some weird reason you have to. Uh, all of C tier is playable, and I don't think you're trolling, but you're not helping yourself. All of B tier, solid gods. A tier, you're trying to win. S tier, you you know must pick, must ban. Well, but yeah, there's my tier list.